You know, I uh, tried to measure my charisma on a Vitomatic Vigor tester once. The machine burst into flames. And now the news. A Legion slaver party was wiped out in a failed raid of the Bitter Springs refugee camp, with two armed civilians inflicting heavy Legion casualties. One witness said, quote, God sent us two angels, and at least one had him a 308 caliber flaming sword of justice with a telescopic sight. In other news, Gamora is under new management after the sudden departure of Omerita bosses Nero and Big Saul. The casino's new manager spoke to reporters. Before he left, Nero told me him and Big Saul were real tight, see? He said they were gonna go camping up at Lake Mead. He said he'd always wanted to sleep with the lake lurks. That's all for now. This is Mr. New Vegas saying, I'm just no good without you. That is a lie. You've always been good without me. Eh, but whatever. Hey, everybody. TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we recruited the remnants to help the NCR in the final battle for Hoover Dam, but that's going to be a long ways away. Uh, we also went around to the various areas of the Mojave, and we hunted the remaining legendary creatures that are here in Nevada. There is one more legendary creature, but that is something I'm not going to be able to get to for quite some time. Anyways, today we are going to be paying Caesar a visit, and by that I mean we're going to go back and kill his ass for all the transgressions that he has sent against us. The numerous legion raiding parties, the, the fact that he told me to get out of his face and all that stuff. You know, it's been too long since I've been there. He might miss me. But trust me, I'm not going to miss him. Now, after that, we're going to be returning back to Camp Forlorn Hope because... Oh, hello. Uh, there's one mission down there that I need to do. Uh, it's actually a pretty important mission because it actually... It dictates the enemies. Wow, I blew the hell out of him. It, it dictates one of the endings to the game. We take this boat. It's probably the last one we ever take. I'm ready for that. Are you? Hmm. I'm ready. Caesar won't know what hit him. That's what the scope's for. But my gun doesn't have a scope. And I ain't letting you take that I'll kill, boy. I'll my gun at you for a while. See how you like it. Uh, I'm sure it's probably not the first time you've pointed a gun at me. Ooh, a Night Stalker tail. I can put that onto th the shelf of magnitude. Uh, let's see, casings, casings, camera repeater, nothing really of value on him. Wait, how much was that repeater worth? Nothing really of value on him. I did see one of them throw a spear at me, and I would like to have a couple more spears on my person before we go to confront, confront Caesar. But I guess I'll just have to make do with what I got. On to the fort! Knock, knock. Guess who's back? Whee! Oh, I guess there's more than enough ways for me to get throwing spears here. Uh, the reason is I'm trying to get as many throwing spears as I can. Uh, one of the Gunrunner challenges is to cripple Caesar's head with a throwing spear. One of the others is to actually kill him with the with, with a with a knife, so a combat knife or just a regular knife will do do the trick. I don't see anyone who has a key. Wait, do I even have the key on me? No, I don't. I don't even know where the key would be then. Oh, uh, actually, Caesar. What the? Okay. What kind of ammo do you have in that thing, Boone? Ooh, there's a throwing spear right there. Nice. I'll take that and the weapons footlocker key. Nice. I'm sure there's probably nothing in it because uh, this is where Caesar would put my weapons if they confiscated them. Even though if I'm good with the Legion, they still take weapons, I believe. I don't remember. I think it was just a one-time thing. Uh, whatever. Oop, nope. Did not want to disarm. I wanted to bust out the heavy artillery. Don't mind me. I'm just going here to cause a little mayhem. Good, good. Ooh, more throwing spears. That is good. A lot more throwing spears. I think I probably have plenty. Hello, sir. The NCR took back Nelson. 
Maybe they can win this war after all. Yeah, maybe they can. I mean, they got me on their side, so... It would make sense for them to actually win this war. You better start run running, sweetheart. It's gonna get a little loud here. Hmm. Oh, that's one way to react to someone shooting me. Again, just... Hmm. Worst aim! Mysterious Stranger, on the other hand, was he shooting at me with a caravan shotgun? First things first, you tried to snipe me with a shotgun. That, that was your first problem. Second thing was you were using a caravan shotgun. Man, this is actually supposed to be like one of the main, uh, like main areas in the game, and they're using such low level weapons. Sad. Sad, I tell you! left uh while we're at this i might as well uh go into a bit more detail of what, what we're going to be doing while after forlorn hope i did not know how far we were hmm. i actually never took a good look back there uh we're going to be heading back to hoover dam to finish the last of the main story quest for the ncr we're not going to go into the end game yet but we are going to like get that out of the way so we can start dlc next time This is so therapeutic. Oh, this is so nice. Taking everything that these guys have not strapped onto them. And you don't really have anything of value. What about you? Yes, you do. Yeah, nectar, casings, all that stuff. Legion ear, which I do need to return to that one trooper in Forlorn Hope. Hello! Rex, eat him! I think he ate him. Oh god, I'm out of ammo. Um, I guess shotgun will do. I... Did Rex get that one? Or was that Boone? Because I sure as hell did not hit him. I'm gonna guess Boone because he was right behind me. Machine gun. Nothing else of value. I ain't gonna bother with that guy back there. He probably doesn't have anything good on me. I think he was just carrying like a revolver or something. I'm sure Caesar's probably shaking in his tent right now with all the hullabaloo that's going on out here, and I cannot believe I just used the word hullabaloo. Alright. Rex? <laughs> Boone, I need you to wait out here. Guard this entrance. Make sure no one gets in and gets a sneak attack behind me. You know what to do if they come anywhere near me. I will deal with Caesar myself. Just first things first. Uh, let's take us some drugs. Uh, how's my limb condition looking? That's fine. Uh, let's take some medics. Career. You know what, Mentats? Ah, great, I'm addicted now. Uh, Psycho. Rebound. Steady. And that's good. Hopped up on all the drugs. Uh, say goodbye to your head, say goodbye to your body, and say goodbye to your head. Okay, he still has his head, that's not good. Oh, this was probably a bad idea. I probably should have got Boone with him. Alright, katana time. Oh god, I forgot they had ballistics fist. Basically a punching shotgun. Oh, when in doubt, stim pack it out. Alright, he's weak. He's at full health. Uh, Lucius, I... Uh, get out of my personal space. Okay, enough with the bangs! You like that? You like that? You like that? No, I don't like that. Can you please stop? Had 
Nope, Caesar, your, your time will come, buddy. soon ow you like that all right come on katana you work served me well oh god that's one praetorian down uh oh ow and that praetorian just signed his death warrant bye bye i Caesar jumped in front of the bullet. Uh, well, at least that bullet tore into pieces. Holy hell. Display circle up. You know what? Take your armor. You don't deserve it. Well, there goes my chance of getting those gunrunner challenges completed. Oh, well. If I want to go for those achievements, I'll just reload the save. I know for a fact I'm not going to be getting any of those achievements in this run, mostly for the fact that... If I had to go out of my way, I think I already screwed myself out of getting a majority of the of the ch three star challenges. I know Caesar's like, was he a two star or a three star? I think it was three star. Huh. Well, Caesar's reign has come to an end. Oops. Only one thing left to do. Don't don't want your body. What? No. Head. Come on. E2, Caesar. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's head out, collect Boon and Rex, and let's head off to Forlorn Hope. The tyrant has been defeated? I have slain him myself, mostly because he was stupid enough to jump in front of his bodyguard. Caesar's dead. Bet he didn't see this coming when he was having his coffee this morning. Still, I'm sure it's not going to stop the Legion. It might not even slow them down. Mm. Still feels pretty good, though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. That was some kind of stunt we pulled. Whatever happens from here on out. We killed that prick in the middle of his fortress. Ought to give the rest of them something to think about. I will say. All right. Uh, I want you to come with me. I'll sit tight. I've got your. Okay, you got my back. Rex. Mark. There. Let's clean up any stragglers that we have around here. I don't think there's any more legionnaires left. I mean, I think there might be... Yeah, there's a couple down there. Wow. All this madness going on up here, and these guys are still just walking around and training. You know what? You deserve this. I didn't even intend it to be that, like, quick-witted and shot like that. I honestly expected to either A, miss, or B, not even have enough stopping power to actually take that guy down. Oh, boy. thinks I should probably use explosive ammo. Thank God I still have a few left. There we go. Yep, that's all of them. Thank you, Rex. You're actually helpful for once. Let... Oh, wait. Do you have anything to say? Or you... Excuse me. Excuse me as well. Uh, nope, that's just cows. All right, off to Forlorn Hope, which is, where was it again? Delta, there it is. Forlorn Hope. Oh, feels good to finally be rid of Caesar. Maybe that'll make him think twice for, before sending another Legion raiding party against me. I can finally take that bug eye thing off my head. All right, into the command tent. Oh, 
Hopefully now with Caesar dead, I can just sit back and relax. Hey, you're not one of the troopers. Got a second? I have work I need done, and nobody here at the camp has the time or inclination to help me out. What what makes you think I would look anything like the troopers? Yes, my Enclave power armor. Yeah, I'm definitely with the NCR military. Well, I kind of am, but you know what I mean. What do you need help with? I have with? the delightful task of tabulating stockpiles, kill ratios, mission success rates, radiation deaths, and other truly fascinating numbers. I've come across numerous inconsistencies between our numbers and our reports, especially with regards to intercepting hostiles. I'm wondering if our radio security codes have been compromised. I need someone to deliver security code upgrades to each of the ranger stations. Oh, uh, yeah, about Charlie. You think someone is listen listening in on the broadcasts? Less than a third of reported enemy sightings are getting intercepted. Either our intel is faulty, or our enemies are one step ahead of us. I wouldn't put it past the Legion. You think the NCR would be very concerned about this sort of thing? I've been trying to get someone to authorize this update, or at the least get field clearance to leave the camp and do this myself. But nobody takes me seriously. They just think I'm an incompetent desk jockey trying to glamorize the importance of my job. What makes you think you can trust me with security codes? The security codes are unique to the radios at each ranger station. They're useless anywhere else. Hmm. All right, I'll help. Tell me what I need to do. This holotape contains the updated security codes for the ranger stations. Show it to the comm officers there. Once the new codes are in use, anyone still using the old codes will just hear static if they're listening in on our frequencies. All right. Bye. Time to return to Sender. We've got to go to almost all the ranger stations. I think, yeah, Charlie's the only ranger station we don't go to because... No, wait. We gotta go to Ranger Station Echo. We gotta go to Alpha, Bravo, and Foxshot. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept uh, Charlie because Charlie doesn't exist anymore. Everyone there is dead. Oh, my friends are dead! Ah, it feels too long since we've been here. Now, where is that radio operator? Wow, short, small we'll area. Go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Gotta wonder what the hell a civilian is doing. God damn it! Why can't I ever get some recognition? Ugh, I have radio security codes for Sergeant Reyes here. What again? Didn't I just change those damn things? All right, fine. Show me the new codes. Yeah. I'm still surprised that you are not a ghoul. Neither is like the Ranger in charge. I mean, everyone else here is a ghoul. Even the veterans here are ghouls. And Edwards, who is somewhat... There he is. Yeah, but it, it's weird that only the ranger in charge here... At, uh, Smart move for the king's... Eramus? What kind of name is that? Um, him and the comm officer, the only ones who aren't ghouls. I always found it weird. Uh, whatever, let's head off to Delta. It shouldn't be that far to find Delta's comm officer. I believe they're in the tent over here. I always figured that they would be in like the basement of this house right here, but that's like deemed off limits. Smart. Why are you still here? Why am I still? I. Wow! All the comm officers are dicks. Very well. You can tell Reyes that this station is secure, sir. Ma'am. Yeah. Alpha. All right, are you gonna be a you dick to me as well? Ranger. You're really not supposed to be. Apparently so. I, I, I may not supposed to be here, which I actually am supposed to be here. But at least I don't have mutton chops like that. Uh, Sergeant Reyes, uh, here, here's some new codes. All right. She radioed ahead and mentioned that somebody was coming by. Ah, uh, that she'd send a civilian instead of a trooper, though. Uh, don't get killed out there. Yeah, I do the killing around here. I don't get killed. I get killed. Wait, that didn't come out right. And then smash cut to me being back in Deadwing Cavern.
Well, it's been three for three Hello. so far. Will you be a dick to me as well? What's up? Hey, finally, someone who is not being a dick to me. Uh, here's your updates. No problem. Hey, do me a favor when you get back to race and tell her that we don't need any more damn ammo. Wouldn't mind more water, though. Uh, why don't you use your radio to fix the supply situation? You think I haven't tried? Every time I do, Camp Golf acknowledges the situation. And soon after that, more ammo. How are your water supplies right now? We're not gonna die of thirst anytime soon, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Since you have some extra, could I get some ammo? Uh, it's not my call to make. You'd have to clear it with Ranger Erickson. Like, Leaf Erickson? A hinga dinga durgan. Where is, uh, Leaf Erickson? No, that's Boone. Uh, no, he's not asleep. Is he outside the camp right now? Because usually they do, like, the step outside the border. Even though it's a death trap because that's, like, ghoulfield territory. Oh, there he is. Is it just you two out here? What brings you to Ranger Station Bravo? I uh, mentioned you had surplus ammo. Mind if I have some? You're not stationed here, but your rep with the NCR speaks for itself. It's mostly rifle rounds, but I'll throw in a few boxes of pistol ammo. I really shouldn't be doing this for you. But there's no way we're going to use all of this or be able to carry it with us. Alright, well, we got assault rifle rounds. I, I figured that when they said rifle rounds would mean like, I don't know, 308 for my my uh, battle rifle. But, eh, I can always use a little more assault rifle rounds. Anything in here? Ooh. Well, I guess I found that surplus of ammo. And there's a few I can actually take. Some energy cells and microfusion. You know what? I will help myself. Well, we finally broke the chain. Oh, no, wait. Hey, wake up. We finally broke the chain of uh, comm officers being dicks to me. Will you be nice? Oh, uh, hey. Hey, it's nice to see you're being nice to me still. Uh, even though we had that heart-to-heart -heart talk last time I was here. I brought updated radio security codes for, for One Hope. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I can do that. Um, thanks. Um, sure. Uh, no, um, problem. Um, why? Are you really the Jeff Goldblum or anything like that? You know, the Wizard of Oz? And with that, security codes have been updated. Ooh, can I take... Oh, I can't take these radios. They look like something that can be takeable. Welcome back. Good to be back. Every station except Charlie has been given the new security codes. Charlie was unfortunately wiped out. The station's been silent for quite some time now. I guess this confirms what we've all feared. Thanks for letting me know. I'll switch over all radio broadcasts to the new encrypted channels. This ought to help us stay a step ahead of any spies. Before you go, I've got another job available. Uh, whatever else you need me to do. We've received some disturbing reports from some of the Ranger stations. Heavy casualties at Alpha, super mutant legionaries at Delta. The weirdest one has to be the Great Cons and their trained death claws at Foxtrot. Intelligent death claws? These reports can't be accurate, can they? I know you've already been out there, but could you do me a solid and confirm these reports with the rangers who sent them in? Um, have you heard anything unusual at any, any of the- uh, pfft, I can't talk. Have you heard anything unusual about the other ranger stations? Nothing is severe. Charlie seems to be getting a lot of extra medical supplies for some reason, while Bravo hasn't requested a resupply in a while. Echo has been reporting heavy legion activity down on their end, but that's about it. I don't think all the medical supplies in the world is going to help Charlie at this point. I'll see what I can do about it. Thank you, and good luck. Bye. Well, we don't have to go back to Echo, but we still got to go back to Delta, Alpha, and Foxtrot. How did they only select those three and nothing from like Bravo or uh, Echo? But whatever, saves me the time. You should probably get to the infirmary to get that looked at. Alright, back at Delta. Now let's see if the Rangers themselves will be as much of jerks to me as their comm officers yeah. will. were. You know what I mean. Uh, you filed a report that said Legion Super Mutants wiped out an NCR patrol? No, I didn't. 
You might hear that kind of nonsense from a drunk trooper on the strip, but not from me. The Legion doesn't have super mutants. That patrol was wiped out by its own incompetence. A couple of the troopers were fooling around with a grenade when it went off. How does the NCR operate without See me? Around. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am not a servant with grenades, but even I'm not stupid enough to drop a grenade right at my foot as I pull the pin. Occasionally. Madam? This is a military outpost. Why are you here? Well, that's a better response than, hey, you shouldn't be here, even though I've been here multiple times and helped this army. Uh, Sergeant Reyes sent me. She's curious about the high casualties at this station. High casualties? We've had one broken ankle, but nobody at this post has died. Well, Reyes' information says otherwise. Any injury, illness, or death gets radioed to Ranger HQ at Camp Golf. Chief Hanlon and his aides compile the reports and assign reinforcements as needed. And they're not needed here. Uh, how could Reyes be wrong, then? There are other Ranger posts around. Reyes might have mixed up the report. Hmm, maybe you're lying to keep morale up. Do a fucking head count, then. Everybody's right where they're supposed to be. All right, well... Reyes got the numbers wrong. Not much more to it than that. I'm keeping my eye on you. So long. Hmm, well, this is starting to get a little more and more bizarre. All right, well, let's see if Foxtrot's true, and if the Intelligent Death Claws actually did survive. No run-ins with the Great Cons, I hope. They've been more restless than usual. With their trained Death Claws? You must be mistaken. I haven't filed any report like that. Trained Death Claws? I would have remembered that. If someone is saying I filed that report, that's a load of crap. I won't have my name attached to a clerical error. Uh, Link told me her story. Yeah, it's a damn shame. There was a lot of talk about expelling her from the Rangers, especially once the gambling and drinking started. Being posted here is her second and last chance, and so far, I'm not impressed. Link's jumpy all the time, and the others are sick of it. Yeah, well, what she's been through, she deserves to be jumpy. Be careful out there. Yeah, I'll be careful, all right. Let's get moving, Boone. Back to Forlorn Hope. I am sick and tired of this runaround. Hey, uh, so Reyes, you are a certified radio operator, right? Welcome back. The Rangers versions of the report say that Camp Golf doesn't match any that you've received. I knew it. Every one of the false reports was signed off by Chief Hanlon at Camp Golf. But why would the Chief manipulate the reports? I need you to take everything we found to Chief Hanlon and confront him with it. I don't want to make this public unless we have to. Alright. Wow, 300 Bye. bottle cats for all that stuff? Alright, I didn't know there was a reward in, for, in it for me. Especially since the job's not done yet. Was this supposed to be like bribe money for him? But very peculiar that Chief Hanlon has been handling all the reports that have been really, really bizarre as of lately. And it got my hopes and dashed him away with the Intelligent Death Clause stuff. Seriously, can they bring those back in future Fallout games? I miss that. Especially since they never got talking heads in Fallout 2. Oh well, a man can dream, a man can wish, and a man can hope. But he's never gonna get it. Well, unless he went into, like, mods and stuff, and then there, there's probably, like, a mod for Intelligent Death Claws. I know there's always been, like, mods for Death Claw Companions. And even though these aren't going to be modless runs, if I ever do decide to do other Fallout games, it, it's still a nice little thought. But now, where is the Chief? Well, when in doubt, pull out the local map. Hmm, looks like he's right in the back. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. The Legion can count on a lot of things. Okay, not that back. Not that back either. I guess he's on the second floor. I wish there was like a, an up or like down arrow that would dictate uh, if he's like above or below you. 
Uh, I'm guessing he went to bed right now. Would make sense. It is almost 9 p.m. Oh, nope, he's not in bed. He's just enjoying a smoke. This is actually a really nice room. I'm occupied at the moment. Come see me when I'm on the balcony. But this is important. I'm occupied at the moment. Come see me when I'm on the balcony. Uh, yes, of course. I can see you're very occupied with that beer. At least I think it's beer. Could be Sunset Sarsaparilla. Who knows? Uh, is there anything? Mm. Uh, there, there, there's a junior science lab over there. There's a mess in there. I guess... Why is there a car engine in one of these rooms? Alright, so I guess we'll have to wait on the balcony. God, so much moving around. He could just make it easier by talking to me right there. But no, I'm occupied drinking my beer. You better have a good explanation for this. Or else I'm going to be sorely disappointed. And four more hours should be enough. Actually, eight should be good. Okay, let's try ten. There we go. Much better. Back west, you don't see too many of these. Lakes, I mean. Natural or man-made. Any kind, really. We neglected the dams or pumped all the water out a long time ago. Owens, Isabella, the San Luis. Drained the aquifers of everything they had. Just a lot of mud and dust now. It's a different feeling watching the sun come up over the water. It takes some getting used to. But if you're here long enough, it starts to seem normal. That's what a ranger's life is now, looking east. You must be the courier folks have been talking about. Word on the radio is that someone wronged you back in Good Springs. The Mojave has a way of burning decent people up. But it sounds like you've done right by the NCR. It's appreciated. Now, what can I do for you? You seem like a genuinely nice fellow. Uh, I'm investigating some intel problems for Technical Sergeant Reyes. Interesting that she would wrangle someone else into sorting out the problem. Well, but she I wrangled me into in it. Right place. A lot of intel comes through here. Uh, do you have know anything about these problems? I don't know, Technical. Sergeant Reyes, but coordinating intel can be messy sometimes. Things get mixed up, people get confused. Heck, I get confused, and I've been doing this for a long time now. What he or she sees as a problem might be standard operating procedure. That's not. Did to you say just Reyes assume her gender? For being concerned, but it's easy for the sand to get in your eyes out here. Hmm. Interesting, interesting that you say that, because it is you who's been manipulating the data! Hold on. If we're gonna have this conversation, let's go somewhere more private. Don't worry, not much bite left in this old dog. What, what could be more private than this private balcony out of view of everyone else? Ah, yes, these more private offices where there's literally a trooper standing right outside, and also, uh, there's a ranger sitting in the adjacent office. Yes, this is much more private than the balcony. Sorting and manipulating intelligence is what I do. It's what rangers are supposed to do. This job isn't all gunfighting and gulping shots of whiskey, no matter what the boys and ladies out there say. But you're inventing your own intelligence reports. I've seen the logs and talked to the rangers. You have, have you? Misdirection. When you're pinned down, outnumbered, and two days from any help, it's just about the best friend you can have. Misdirection's what saved me all these years. It's what saved us at Hoover Dam. But it's been five years now, and Caesar's right across that lake. He's closer now than he ever was before. I was a young man once. I know what it's like to want to fight for your home. But this isn't it. But aren't you fighting for the people of New Vegas? We're fighting on their behalf, but Mr. House and the families are stringing us up inch by inch. Well, that's not they anymore. Dry while we fight and die over the 
Afghanistan. We offered them sanctuary in NCR territory before, but they won't listen. Troopers and rangers have been dying here for more than five years while the families sit pretty behind that damn wall. How does spreading false information help anything? People back home don't listen. They don't care. Senators, Brahmin barons, folks who are just trying to make it from day to day. It's been so many years that people forget about it. Conscription brings in fresh troops that die here every month, like it's routine. And even if we hold this dam, what then? Are we gonna send the NCR's men and women to die here for another five years? Ten? Patrol the whole length of the Colorado for hundreds of miles? Hold in this dam. It'll be the death of us. But what does that accomplish? Creating fear and instability among the troopers without causing harm. It's the only thing I could think of to shake things up. It took some people getting killed to realize I'd gone too far. I had to stop. Then why did you do it? It's never gonna end this fight with Caesar. People back home don't know what these young men and women are in for. The Legion is the worst enemy we've ever faced. But we can't stop Caesar here. Not without getting a lot of good people killed. More than anyone cares to count up. But even if we do stop him, I don't see how we're ever gonna be able to pull out. Ah, uh, nah, too easy of a joke. All right, well, what do you think I should do about this? First thing that comes to mind is to turn me in. But that might not be the best play, all things considered. Even if your heart's in the right place, I reckon it might do a lot more harm than good. Uh, what will you do if I don't turn you in? Oliver can't stand that Rangers got credit for victory at Hoover. Whatever I recommend, he does the opposite. I said I wanted us on the ridge. He put them right on the western part of the dam itself. We don't have enough firepower to hold that spot. If the troopers fall back, and they will, the rangers will advance to cover Oliver's retreat. We lose the dam. Oliver and the center are ruined. And what about you and the rangers? Rangers are volunteers. Every man and woman who signs up is willing to die for the NCR, myself included. A lot of this is my fault. It's only right I stand with them. Hmm. I actually got the information about Caesar being sick. Hmm. I didn't even know that. Well, I got good news for you. Caesar's dead. The Legion can't hold itself together for five years, much less ten. It's a gamble either way. Even with Caesar gone, we still might not outlast the Legion. I suppose that's a risk I'll have to take. For our sake, I hope you're right. I guess that I should thank you for bringing me to my senses. So, uh, thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna walk out that door and pretend we never had this talk. What talk? Well... Ah, yes! That secret door behind those filing cabinets! I know you're old, but I think you're running the joke a little into the ground. But you know what? You seem like a decent enough fellow. You were just tired of seeing people getting killed over a stupid reason. And also the fact that you were actually voiced by an army ranger and an air force pilot. So for that, I salute you, sir. Well, now that that's done, Caesar's dead. Falsified reports have no longer been falsified. It's time we head back to Hoover Dam to report all our hard work towards them. Huh. For a second, I was like, what the hell is that ranger looking at? Alright, let's head on back to Hoover Dam, which is right back here. So I'll see you when I go talk to Colonel Moore. Amen. Oh no, not you! Well, look who it is! Fantastic's little helper, all grown up, following in his master's footsteps. What in the ever-loving name of Deathclaw God are you doing here? Let's get this straight. You are not my master. Whoa, hey, alright man, it's cool. Who said anything about being your master? 
I'm just the guy who tells you to do the stuff you do before you do it. What are you even doing here? What's it look like, man? I'm fucking king of the NCR. Caesar's Legion has Caesar. The NCR's got Fantastic. It's Fantastic's NCR now. This whole war's about power, man. Caesar wants it. NCR wants it. Fantastic's got it. After I fixed Helios 1 and basically saved the NCR from the dumb shits who run it, I got myself a little promotion. Now I run the whole shebang. You know, I got a lot of shebang in my pocket. You want me to pull it out and use it on you? They put you in charge of Hoover Dam? They sure as shit did. I mean, there's still formalities, like I have to run everything by Lawson before I do it. But do I ever do that? Is his name fantastic? So you have to do whatever Lawson tells you. No, man. That's just what I'm supposed to do. But when he tells me to push the middle button to divert the intake, and the right button feels nicer when I touch it, I know where my loyalty is. Man, I just don't know how an idiot like that gets put in charge of anything. And what are your responsibilities, even if you have any? Man, what aren't my responsibilities? Dam overflow, dam underflow, dam leakage. Sometimes the dam gets too big and I have to shrink it down. People come to me to resolve their disputes with my wisdom. Like, hey, fantastic. Who gets to keep this doodad we found? Or, yo, fantastic. When will you accept that you're the father of my child? It's crazy. Right. I'm just gonna Adios, stay the you. hell away from you, you freaking lunatic. Hey. How could you hire this idiot? Hello there, youngster. Welcome to my baby. Why do you call this place your baby? The power station, the dam, they're my babies. Well, don't tell my grandchildren I said that. <laughs> Anything in here that I haven't rebuilt, i fixed. I've been here since well before the first battle. I've ground my knuckles on so much cement in here, it is nearly as much me as it is cement. Why do you have such a giant nose? Like seriously, that thing is huge. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I got a small little question that revolves around the fact of why the hell did you hire Fantastic? Well, he mostly stays out of the way, which is a good thing. He'd probably end up doing some real damage if he tried to make himself useful. Right now, we mostly let him operate the switchboard for the intercom. Flipping switches seems to keep him pretty happy. Ah, <sighs> some days, I swear, the MCR would implode on non -F itself if I wasn't around to help keep this thing afloat. Is there a faster way to get there? Of course not. I'll have to take the roundabout way. Hi, Rex. Uh, I'm tired of lugging this heavy armor around with me. It, it looks cool as hell, but man, is this thing heavy. I could save the NCR so many headaches in the future if I just pull the trigger. Ah, uh, but they'll probably... They'll probably hate me for killing their favorite jester, so I'll, I'll stay my weapon for now. But if he ever dies by a stray bullet in the middle of the battle, eh, yeah, yeah, no one will implicate me. Anyway, now where was Colonel Moore again? Should be, I think she's always, was she on the second floor? It's been a while since I've been, yeah, I think she was up a, up a floor. Because the quartermaster is down here, which I actually do need to sell the extra wares I got from... Uh, the Legion and stuff. But she should be... Yeah, there she is. More! I have a, more news for you! <laughs> Ow! Has the Brotherhood been found? Uh, I've talked to the Brotherhood into supporting the NCR. And you believed them? Do you have any idea how long we've been fighting those bastards? Ugh, Crockett will have a field day with this. He'll want to establish diplomatic relations with them for Pete's sake. But we've got more important matters to attend to. The President is due to arrive soon, and we're sure the Legion won't waste such an opportunity. I want you to assist the security detail we've prepared for the President. His safety is critical to maintaining the men's fighting spirit. Go up to the visitor center and speak to Ranger Grant. He's in charge of security during the President's visit. Dismissed. Yes, ma'am. I know you have a very militaristic view of the Brotherhood and all that stuff, and you'll probably know when it happens. But, you know, getting people with power armor, energy weapons, and freaking... 
I don't know. I forgot. I was going to say vertebrates, but they don't have any here. You know, getting that sort of backup for the battle kind of seems more beneficiary than just wiping them out. All right. Well, if security detail is going to be the thing, I better look the part. I look a little you know, wastelandy in this. Well, it isn't anything special, but it'll have to do for now. Never thought I'd be wearing a vault suit in, again in this playthrough, even though I criticize how ridiculous looking they always have been. It, it, it's the most, like, I guess, security esque looking outfit with, that we have here. I've heard of you. I'm glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter. Sweet eye patch, dude. The help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the president's visit in not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? Um, I have some questions. Ask your questions, but keep it short. Uh, can I use my weapons during the president's visit? We trust you, so you're free to have your weapons. Just don't do anything too crazy, and we'll back you up. What's the security arrangements? Security detail consists of rangers stationed here at the dam. Some will keep an eye on the crowd, while others will watch the perimeter. Snipers and sharpshooters have been assigned to key locations, and we also have a special canine unit sniffing out members of the crowd. I've also locked down access to critical locations, such as the landing platform on the visitor center. Hmm. I'm gonna need access everywhere. Alright, I'll give you full access. Do you have a detailed schedule of the visit? I have a full itinerary here. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Do you have any leads on p possible security threats? The Legion will definitely try something. We don't have any solid leads yet. I'd almost expect something direct from them. But given the circumstances, there's a possibility of something more subtle, like sabotage. But since we don't have anything solid, we'll just have to keep our eyes out for anything out of the ordinary. All right. Anything I can do to help? Someone like you. I'm just glad to have you on board. Do whatever you can. Security sweeps, talk to people, keep an eye out. Very well. If there's nothing else, then let's get moving. I'm all set. Good. The president doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Wow, they're actually offering me refuge here. I just took a nap standing in this one location. I'm I'm us. part horse, Most apparently. Of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. So what's the plan for today? The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is going to try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. Alright, let's get this show on the road. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. Don't take too long. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure nothing inconspicuous is going to happen, you know. Knock on wood. Hmm. Well, everything seems perfectly fine right now. Patrolling the Mojave but I wouldn't put it past the Legion. After all, I did kill their leader. For a second, I thought that was a ghoul in here. Hmm. There's a very hard door in here. Uh, ma'am, if you would mind. Oops. There's something locked. That means there's something of valuable on the other side. Of value on the other side. I cannot talk tonight. Jeez. Come on. Damn it! I know it's in this right location, but I just... Can't get to the right spot. There we go. Oh, it's uh, like a little cigar lounge. That's nice. That just leads to Hoover Dam. And that probably leads to the upper area. Alright. Oh, well, let's go check the perimeter. Make sure everything's squeaky clean. If I was the assassin. Not much of a crowd today. I mean, the freaking president's coming. You'd think they'd have a few more people here. Alright. Um, might as well talk to a few people before we get the show on the road. Hey, y'all! 
And that's enough talking to people. Bye bye. Hey yo. Do I have to? Anything you know about the president's visit? He's coming to give a big fancy speech to all us troops stationed here at the dam. I'm pretty excited. He seems like such a nice guy, and I get to meet him. He's giving me a medal. I don't know why, though. I'm just doing my job like all the other guys. I'm still excited, though. Oh, your attitude is so riffable. Mama always told me not to talk to strangers. But you seem like a nice person. Mama left me on a farm when she went out prospecting. But when she never came back, the owner didn't want me around. He kicked me out on my own. A nice guy came up and asked me if I wanted to join the NCR, so I did. Now the troopers are my family. I like it here. Everyone is so nice. All right. Bye bye. Boone, do you have any input on the security situation? What is it? Um, I guess not. Yeah. So excited about the president visiting. This is gonna be great. Yeah, you sound really excited, buddy. Wonder what President Kimball's gonna talk about today. Probably presidential stuff. I don't have time to talk right now. Mm, apparently you can't talk with that mask over your face. You're clear to go on through. Jensen? Oh, I didn't know someone I I watched on YouTube is actually a NCR trooper. Rex, buddy, what is it? Anything? Nah. I guess we can't really talk to them because these two actually do have some input, which is why I brought them along with me uh, during this mission. But I guess we actually have to start it before anything happens. Wish I could have been there to see Caesar die. Hmm. Well, things seem quiet over there. Have you finished your security sweep? Um. Yeah, it looks like I'm done. Looks like that's his vertebrate coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. All right. Well, this, before this thing gets started, let's take a look at and see what the schedule is for uh, the president. All right, the president will visit Hoover Dam and give a speech to the troops and award a medal to Robert Watson for his bravery in service at the NCR. The president is scheduled to arrive via Vertebird from California. The Vertebird will land on top of the visitor center where Colonel Moore will meet the president and escort him to the stage. At the brief introduction by Colonel Moore, the president will give his speech. The speech will only take approximately four minutes. During the speech, the president will award a medal to Private Jimmy Watson for his services to the NCR. Once the speech is over, the president will be escorted directly back to the through the visitor center to his vertebrate for immediate departure. In the event of an emergency, the speech will be canceled. The president will be rushed back to the vertebrate for immediate departure. If I, if the is a problem with the vertebrate, a room on the second level of the visitor center will be used as a safe room to keep the president secure. So I guess that was that room I, I locked picked into. Whoopsie! Uh, access to this room has been restricted to Colonel Moore, and Colonel Moore has the key in her desk. Hello. Oh, he's very considerate to my dog. Hey, here it comes right now, an actual working vertebrate in this game. I didn't think they'd have it in them. I look very snazzy. I do look like a security officer. Now, fun little fact, uh, the bird, bird up there is actually named Bear Force One, which Hello. I thought was kind of ridiculous and also kind of funny. Uh, I think I get attacked if I get too close to the president or interact with him in any way, so... Eh, you know what, what's the trouble of going up and watching him get out? After all, I'm part of the security. It's only right that I'm up here. Hmm. Either you're petting my dog, or that was pretty suspicious. You're looking at the president's vertebrae, and the assassins could have done something with the vertebrae. Repair 30, repair or explosives 50 or higher required. Let's take a look at this thing. You search the vertebrae and notice a strange item that doesn't belong. Upon ex examination, you notice it's a bomb! You successfully disable the bomb and remove it from the vertebrae. 
Gee, I wonder who put the bomb there. Well, I don't think we should cancel this thing just yet. Hey. Uh, that guy's standing a little too close to the ladder. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the new California Republic, Aaron Kimball. Oh, hello. We'll be here. Uh-oh. Looks like we got a situation brewing. Gotta put on my siren. Gotta get over there fast. Whoa, what the hell? What are you doing up here? Uh, the, the, it's a dead ranger downstairs. Oh, shit. Really? We should go take a look. Is it okay for you to leave your post? We're just going to be a moment. We should both take a look first. Alright, let's go. Okay, lead the way. Actually, better yet, I don't think you are a ranger. I think you're a saboteur. I meant to say assassin. Uh-oh. What the hell went on? Um. Did I miss something? Uh, okay. Uh, I found the Legion sniper on the roof of the tower. Damn it. I can't believe the Legion actually got someone past our security. Good job catching them. I'll have a security team sweep the area to see if the Legion has any more surprises for us. I'm also canceling the President's speech. We'll have a security team get him out of here right away. But let's not relax until he's safe. Well, what's your input on this, Moon? What is it? Uh, apparently nothing. Yeah. But that was odd. I don't think I triggered anything to to cancel the speech. Also, that poor trooper. Uh, ooh, a trail car. But eh, it's not really worth that much. Well, the president's safe. The speech, however, got messed up beyond all recognition. Actually, you know what? I think I know what happened. Um, Rex in this case, uh, he will sniff out, uh, the Legion spy. Uh, basically it was the guy who sabotaged the vertebrate. He, he usually will like rush the president with a knife and stuff. And I think Rex automatically sniffed him out, which is why he was unconscious because he was attacking the guy and he, he apparently managed to knock him out or something like that. I don't know. Good job today. Uh, but mission accomplished. I guess. Oh, that's kind of lackluster. I kind of wanted to have this be a bit more, but... Is the president safe? Uh, the president is departed safely. Good. His death could have had a major impact on morale. This whole affair was ill-advised from the start, and I, for one, am glad it's over. While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a change in our strategy. I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed to send you to him immediately. He set up his camp in the office area at the south end of this power plant. Dismissed. Yes, ma'am. You're committing to fight w with the NCR at the Battle of Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of New Vegas for decades to come. If there is anything you want to do before you enter this battle, do it now, because before you cross this point of no return. I'm not ready yet! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this has literally become the point of no return. Maybe it was the fact that the door was open and he got spooked. No, the president was already out on the stage. I don't know what happened. I'm going to just say Rex aggroed the saboteur and he attacked him, which is the only way I can say that Rex got knocked out from it. 
That's what I'm gonna go with. Maybe Future Me caught something, but I doubt he did. Uh, but that's where I'm gonna end it. Uh, be it, it was kind of a disappointing uh, ending. But, you know, we made a lot of progress. We managed to save the NCR president, indirectly, of course. We killed Caesar, which is probably the biggest accomplish uh, accomplishment here. And we also uh, helped the leader of the Rangers stop falsifying reports. Next time on Fallout New Vegas, we are not going to be going into the final battle that would determine the fate of Mojave. Instead, we're going to be doing something else. We're going to be going back to Camp Four and Hope. Uh, but not really Camp Four and Hope, we're going to be going to the abandoned Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. The reason behind that is it's time to start the DLC. First ones up is the Sierra Madre Grand Opening. And trust me, I'm kind of not looking forward to it. So, I may see if I can get a little bit of help to go along with it. But who knows, life always has a way of, you know, just changing plans. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Later.